Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about move.ai and the reason I have this hand in your face <laughs> right there in, in what we're looking at is because today I want to talk about finger capture, right? That most difficult, I guess, um, my, when you buy a motion capture suit, one of the things that uh, they're going to sell you is being able to buy gloves so you can capture the finger uh, mock-up uh, data from the actor. Now, the Perception Neuron Studio comes with gloves and uh, when you use the Accent suit, you don't come with, it doesn't come with gloves, you have to use the Manus gloves, right? And uh, Rococo comes with gloves as well, but in all those instances, you have to buy gloves to be able to capture the fingers and the you know the finger finger movement of your actor so enter move.ai and the one thing that is really difficult when you're dealing with the motion capture systems that use video that you either use artificial intelligence to gather food, uh, data from uh, video is because is they are not able to capture fingers very well and very very few if any can do it as well as uh, move.ai so let me rewind this uh, clip right here on the sequencer to the beginning and uh, let's go ahead and play so you can see what's happening all right this data came straight from a file that downloaded from move.ai and you can see it has the body full body capture including the head and then you can <laughs> back but look at that this is the result of the fingers that are captured using the ai assessing the different uh, view viewpoints of the cameras that were used the gopros and then creating data out of that that is very very impressive because without a pair of motion capture gloves to be able to do that is really really difficult and this is very very impressive that move.ai can actually do that guys it's very very impressive so the guys at move.ai mine my heart off to you that you can capture and before i think in the past you've seen videos of move.ai from a distance but i wanted to bring to you the data straight right here in your face so there's no doubt whatsoever that this what the hands look like and i want to slow it down so you can actually see how well that is captured i mean the finger curling the thumb just that part right there you know that is difficult to do without motion capture gloves whether it's straight sense or whether it's manners you know you need those gloves to be able to capture that uh, data and so the fact that move.ai has managed to do it with just cameras right without a motion capture suit is very impressive right so again let me just play it one more time guys and let me actually maybe i can do it's a kick out of here and let me switch over to cool yeah f11 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 so we can actually see it in it so it's glory select the character and you can see the fingers right there so uh again guys whenever i come up across something that is really profound when it comes to storytelling i have to share it with you and this is something that again that i don't think that we've talked enough about the the fact that uh, move.ai can use artificial intelligence to be able to assess the data from video to be able to capture those fingers i think it's uh, amazing 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 so again guys if you're new to my channel i kindly ask you spare a minute to hit that subscription but subscription button and uh hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video like this one something cool like that right and thank you so much to all my patrons out there guys i truly appreciate your support uh thank you and as always guys dare to dream big never ever give up on your god-given dream and uh, may we continue to use this technology to tell our stories right it's amazing amazing <laughs> the fact that i can even talk to you in like real time using the iphone 10 here what <laughs> and then we're able to use data from move.ai on so this challenge has always been for me is that how can i use move.ai data for short films and i was always leery because i was thinking okay maybe the hands are not gonna be really good 
But from what I see, these results are telling me that the data is getting better and better and better. Then we can go down here because I'm already I'm never shy of showing you what the data is doing. So one of the challenges again is uh, down here, but the system is getting better as more people get to use it. And right now I think there's a select group of people, especially beta testers. You can see how that works. And then I'll go up all the way up. This is a new meta human. So it, shall, it just shows you how well it works on the new meta humans. That is really, really cool. So thank you so much for joining me again, guys. Again, ah, I continue to encourage you to never give up, guys. Let's let's use this technology to tell our stories and uh, tap into you know what is available out there. And I know Move.ai hasn't listed their <laughs> prices, and that that's a question that is constantly being asked of of me. But again, for me, I'm still in the beta testing period. So I know, what I, I'm gathering is that the prices are not yet been set and there are still a number of moving things in the back end that they're working on. One of which, of course, is improving the technology. So for example, you get better finger capture like that. This has been getting better and better because certainly when I first started out, uh, the data wasn't this as good as it is now. So the AI is getting better from assessing data from different videos. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, come back and ask another time for another cool video. What an amazing time. What a time to be alive, right? <laughs> Peace out and much love to you all. I'm continuing to pray for all my friends out there who are going through wars and uh, this pandemic as well. So please stay safe. Much love to all of you. Bye for now.